Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I am down at the Hampton Manufacturer to show you an all new model. I've got a couple new models to put out here. I woke up at the four in the morning, drove down to where all these things are made, and this is the unit that just really caught my eye. This Destination RV to me has a very special floor plan, a really unique layout, something that I think will really fit a wide variety of folks. This is the 2025 Hampton 395 BAM. And while you guys are watching this video, if you have any questions, any feedback, this is a brand new model, a kind of a new concept. So drop comments along the way. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are and report them back you know, to, uh, to the guys down at Hampton, which are you know, super nice. We're gonna start on the inside, but first I wanna show you this storage here. So what's incredible about this unit is most destination RVs are gonna be flat all the way across. This actually has stairs that are right here into a laundry zone. And then you're going to have a raised bedroom with a ton of exterior storage. So like my wife loves to pack away, you know, seems like decorations for every, you know, spring, fall, summer, winter. And this would be a great place for all of that. Maybe some kayaks, tables, you know, different little knickknacks and whatnot. So really, really interesting. And I've never seen anything like it. But let's go ahead on the inside. We'll come back around on the outside and kind of show you the ins and outs of it. But I mean, look at this thing. Absolutely massive, great windows for great views, dual awnings, which really cover the entire campsite, which is pretty darn nice. But yeah, again, let me know what you think. As you come into here, you have your entertainment L couch, you have an island, which doubles up as your dinette. So you're not gonna be wasting any space, you know, on the dinette itself. But this slide starts over here, goes all the way down past the refrigerator. And then up the stairs, you can see bedroom, bathroom, and a dedicated slide for the laundry that has a nice little kind of a top where you can fold up your clothes and get a little bit organized. Very, very cool. This is going to be your station for, you know, all of your slide out controls, awnings, your different lightings. And then of course, you know, you can tell uh, where your tank fills are along with the controls for the heat and AC. But I mean, what do you guys think about that? Let me take a walk up the step. I'm a big fan of it. I think I'm gonna start up in the front and kind of work my way back. I think that's the, the best way to approach it. So right here, like I was saying, great windows. The Hampton Classic with that front windshield, which is just absolutely amazing. Especially imagine if you're parked up at like a, you know, lakeside or something like that with a view. It doesn't get much better there. You also have a shade that you can pull over. You have a fan up top. I believe this is gonna come with three ACs, but you'll definitely wanna check down in the description or ask your salesman uh, for that as well. But the L couch here is gonna be perfect, obviously for hanging out. Recliners on this side and a pull out couch right here. So this will make just about one king size bed. You're also going to see that you have plenty of outlets on a little lip, you know, maybe where you can put up, you know, your phones, your laptops, you know, anything that you need to, uh, you know, get a charge in. All of these windows, they're all gonna open up, which is nice. Some models that have a ton of windows, they don't all open up, you know, the, the full way. So that is going to be, you know, pretty darn handy if you want to catch a good cross breeze on a nice fall night like we got coming up. Absolutely massive TV. I'm going to go out on a limb and say probably about a 60 inch TV. Uh, that is too freaking cool. They also have the newer style uh, fireplace, which is going to have a couple different modes. But more importantly, it's going to heat up the entirety of this area. Absolutely no problem on a pretty darn chilly day. You have the black glass finish. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. So big fan of that. A little bit of storage there. A little bit of storage here. It's actually quite a bit, a lot of storage. Oh, that's nice. A little pull out drawers. Maybe like a little spice rack or something. And then you have a nice residential size oven as well. So if you're someone that likes to cook like myself, you got plenty of room to do it. Four stove top burner, solid surface countertops on either side with the Hampton backsplash. Similar storage on both sides here of your microwave, which is also going to be a GE. So it's gonna be a full size microwave there for you. More storage over here. And then you have outlet and outlet too. So if you wanna do like blender, Keurig, kind of get a little funky down at the campground, you got the ability to do that. I also am a huge fan of this island being a little bit wider than most. So typically, your campers will kind of cut off right about there, but they added it so that way now you have a dinette without taking up space for a dinette. You know, maybe drop a comment, let me know what you think on that. 
I like the stainless steel finish there above the island. I think this is a great place where you can not only play games, but, you know, sit down and read a book and enjoy, you know, kind of what you got going out there. Hopefully you're not in a factory. You're out somewhere nice and beautiful. Stainless steel bowl. It's going to be one of those TikTok sinks that everyone's going with. So you're going to have your cup cleaner, soap dispenser, a little cascading waterfall action right there. And then, of course, all your different little, you know, sink accessories. High-rise faucet. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hitting those dishes from all angles. And then, uh, hmm, that one's new to me. Let's see if I, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but maybe you do. More storage. I also like this color. I don't know if the color had changed or if I'm just now noticing it. I know the countertops are different, but clean cut storage, you know, you got access to plumbing, three more pull out drawers. And then you flip it around, you got another little nook, which you could make into like a little drink zone or possibly like a little junk drawer type action. So you got plenty of space for it, maybe like plates and all that. And then right here, you have some dry food storage there too as well. And then you're also going to get the Samsung refrigerator. So this thing is going to be absolutely massive for you. Pack away a week's worth of food, you know, no problemo. And then you have the little ice maker right there. And then a separate pull out for your freezer. That about does it for this front room. You also have the old steamer stink sucker 3000 right there just above your oven. So that way if you're doing a lot of serious cooking or if you just want a little bit of airflow, you got the place to do it. We're back over to the control panel. So again, that's right there. And this is where it gets a little different for the destinations. You actually have two steps that go into that. So I know some people are going to love it. Others are not going to be a big fan of it. So I'm curious to see the overall feedback of it. But what you're gaining is that outside storage and then stuff like this because you have another platform now. So you have outlet here, outlet here, washer and dryer, absolutely fantastic. You also have got all the countertop space that you need to get the job done, fold and close, which is always a plus. Emergency exit, pull, push and plop. Then you got the old nightshade, USB ports right there. And then a good place where you can put, you know, your different detergents and whatnot directly across from your bathroom, which is definitely an above average size. So I like seeing that you have the porcelain foot flush throne, and then you got the dual vanities, but they're also not the massive one. So I actually like the size of this being a little bit smaller. You get to utilize a little bit more of the countertop space. And then of course you got the mirror, check out the old bowling gun, baby. We started up football at the house, had our first game uh, yesterday, which was Wednesday, we got another one Friday, Saturday, fall ball, Sunday. Sports are back in action, baby. You had a pretty good game, too. You had three touchdowns, probably about 200 yards rushing. Absolutely trucked some kid. Grabbed him by the head and just boom, right down to the ground. So we were riding high. His head was about four feet wide after the game, though. So four ports of water that spit out. So that's pretty darn nice. I bet that feels good. And then your suburban on-demand hot water heater. So it's going to be instant hot water as long as you have propane. And the head height in here is pretty darn incredible. I mean, I'm six feet tall. So even though you have the lift, you still have probably about maybe a little bit over seven feet of head height. And that's going to translate into the bathroom here as well. Let me go ahead and show you. So, I mean, even for you taller folks, this is going to be, you know, pretty, oh gosh, almighty, about, about bit it. I'm in my sandals because I was driving four hours. I'm in a rush to get to the next place. So I didn't throw on any jimmies. So right here, you got your bed. It's on an east to west slide. Let's see if you have storage underneath still. Still get storage underneath. It's on the strut, so you're hands free. You are going to get USBs over on that side along with an outlet. So if you have a CPAP machine, plug it in there or over here, which is always a plus. This is going to be that third AC. Uh, they also are using the blade system, which is nice. Uh, they were telling me... Well, not they were about a year ago when they first started coming out that the way that it kind of just pushes the air actually increases the airflow. Uh, they're saying by up to 20%. So I don't know how true that is, but it is pretty interesting. And it does make sense as opposed to being kind of a wall that glides through it. Hanging clothes on this side and over on that side. So you're going to have six pullout drawers as well, all of which are going to be looking, you know, just like that. Another window for another view. Uh, you could even maybe even use it as like a desk. I'm sitting on the bed. Be a little uncomfortable. I'd probably use that island, but who knows? Maybe you got the grandkids with you. 
and for sanity's sake you just want to you know get the heck out of town and stay up in your bed so you got a place for a tv along with the appropriate plugins there too as well probably fit yourself i would say about a 40 inch just for size reference Another big old window back here. I think that about wraps it up. We'll take a quick spin around the outside. But again, it's the 2025 Hampton 395 BAM. Drop comments. Let me know what you think. That is just cool. That's a good little view right there, too. That might be a thumbnail. I think right here, put my noggin right there. Maybe something like, wow, right up top. Well, you know what? They got the floor vent too, but they got a nice cover. I know people don't like the floor vent, but that's because they have an above average furnace in these. And the only way to really, I mean, when you're heating a camper, you want to see those floor vents, but you want them to be out of the way so they're not collecting fur and all that. So I really like how they went ahead and covered it. So this has the extreme weather package, which is going to be added insulation basically throughout the coach. You're also going to have an aluminum frame construction. And I believe on these, it's going to be 12 on center for the studding. And then, you know, it should beat up around the windows too. Two absolutely massive awnings. I'm going to guess probably darn near 40 feet of awning, which is incredible. You have good lights, good shade, you know, all that kind of good stuff. You also have the stabilizers on this. A lot of these destination RVs aren't even coming with stabilizers anymore. So I like to see it. Two oversized propane bottles. And then you got a place where you can put, you know, a battery or two. And I like the fact that it's lifted as opposed to a crossbar. But Hamptons, I love their front cap. I mean, look at that thing. That is absolutely insanity right there. Absolute insanity. Get the old stats here. So let's see. Unloaded vehicle weight, 12,400 pounds. Again, this is a destination RV. So you will want to, you know, kind of take it, plop it, and drop it. Even though, you know, you can pull it around a couple times a year. Let's see here. What are we seeing underneath? Nothing over here. Dual axle. You also have the back end of your hot water heater, and this is gonna be where your dump valves are. So both located right there, which is nice. Fresh water, city water connection, and your black tank flush, which is gonna be a sprinkler system. Therefore, your poop tank. And then you got the hose. I mean, look at that. I love having that. Shows off that aluminum frame construction. It's gonna be welded at all points. You have the rear entrance uh, to it as well. Notice all the doors are staying up on their own. Plug for the camper is going to be right there. And then if you really wanted to, you could remove that center light to put on a rear camera if you're driving this. A lot of people just pay for delivery, though, or do it one time. But that's going to be kind of more of a preference. But all right, guys, I'm zipping on out of here. Oh, two marine grade outside speakers. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I hope to catch you next time. I do daily RV content, so hit that like and subscribe button. Again, my name is Hunter, and this is the 2025 Hampton 395. Bam. Have a great day. See you. Meow, 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 me